Mr. Allen, uh, thanks for being here. Looking forward Thank you, to this. Um, Thank so you. I'm actually thinking of doing something for myself. Excellent. So I picked out a, a swatch for a um, for a jacket because I think this would be really cool. Nice textured sport coat. Great jacket. Perfect yeah. Perfect weight for here. Yeah, and just you know dress it up and dress it down. Just a nice pair of. This is a wool and mohair, so it'll be really yep. good for here too. Absolutely. So, um, I did one before, but I just kind of want to perfect my fit a little bit. So okay. um, let's go into that a little bit. I wrote down some stuff that I I like fit wise, but I want to talk to the expert. Um, so I'm going to do the unstructured. Yes. So what what will be your next test? What do we need to do? Well, try on a try on a garment. Okay. First off. Okay. And then 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 we can pick out the particular ideas that you're little details and stuff like that. And okay. Little details so we can make a pattern that's just right for you. Okay. I love the way this unstructured fits. It just feels. Okay, so what are our points that we need to talk about here, Sean? Well, first off, as you know, um, when fitting a garment, chest and shoulder, shoulder is really the most important thing. Mm -hmm. This lays beautifully on you, um, but uh, because that's the hardest thing to manipulate. Yeah. Uh, and really off the rack, you can't manipulate the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Or you've got to know somebody very special. And it's, it's very cost, expensive if you do. It's going to yeah. cost. So anyway, this is the first thing that I look at always. Okay. Is how this lays on the shoulder. Yeah, like that's said, really clean. Yeah, it looks really that's clean to you. Uh, looks clean to me. You're not getting any. Then I come to the chest. Okay. And make sure that you know there's no jacket on you is right here. Okay. Just right at the top of your uh, right at the top of your shoulders. It shouldn't be gripping your neck. You shouldn't be feeling it, okay. you know, any tightness here, you know. So what about this subtle little roll right there? Is that? Yes, I get this too. Okay. And this is, this is just really where your shoulder uh, uh, posture. Okay. Comes in, comes in play. Okay. And, for instance, you you look just a little bit points forward. Okay. So this is. And as you're feeling, are you feeling the jacket a little bit right here? Yeah, I noticed it did feel a little tight right here. Yeah. Um, so this, what's happening is the is the, the your shoulders are pulling the jacket forward. Okay. So and we can make a we can make a posture adjustment for that. Okay. On the order form, there's a little box to box to check. Okay. I get that as well. Okay. Now that I've graduated, we're checking to uh, make sure your chest doesn't break, okay. which just doesn't. This lays really nice on you. So okay. obviously, we're in the right size jacket. Okay, which is key to any kind of starting point of fitting. One thing that I've run into is that you know, I've, so I used to be a ballet dancer, mm -hmm. so I've got a erect posture, sure. so I usually have a, a, a lapel roll, mm -hmm. and sometimes the jacket stands away. Is that happening here at all? I mean, does this collar need to be taken in at all, or what do you think? You're not you don't you're not having a collar roll. Okay. But I do see where you do it is standing away from your collar just a hair. So does that so, need to be let out to lay properly or brought in just a little more? Brought in. Okay. It needs to be brought in. Maybe like a quarter or yeah, less. It's okay. not much. Okay. It's not much. Just to tighten it up around the neck. Correct. Okay. Correct. So that if, okay. you, if you wanted to do that, like I said, I wouldn't go more than a quarter. Okay. Uh, so side. I'm feeling like right here in the front of the arm, you said that's mm -hmm. more posture. Do we need to increase the chest or the half back at all? No. I, no, I don't think that's I don't think that's it. It's you know, your you stand you stand erect, but mm -hmm. your shoulders are a little more move, forward. Or move forward. Okay. So that's that's really what's creating that. And then when, when we make that adjustment at the factory, this will it's basically a shift the shoulder pattern forward okay. making all this late and loosening this loosening this up okay I think if you if you gave yourself at this point if you gave yourself chest room you're gonna start getting a you're gonna start getting this a little too much kind of number okay over here because this again you know this lays beautifully other yeah. than this little yeah issue right there uh, and one thing that I did want to do too is um, Raise the armhole just That's fine. A, a little higher. So yep. um, I like a higher armhole. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Okay. There, I want to talk to you about that. Sure. Um, there, I'd be I'd be cautious. Okay. Because little increments in an armhole mm -hmm. are a lot. Yes. So if you were to, if you were to, I need to come around on this side so we can see the armhole. 
you were to say, I'm liking that right there a lot better. Okay. Yeah. Does that feel better to you? That feels fantastic. I love that. Because okay, so that's gonna be that's like an inch. Okay, so I would do an inch. Yeah. So would I need to adjust by like increasing the bicep and the forearms just a little bit? By maybe a quarter, maybe a half, just so No, <clears throat> no, because they'll again, they'll take all that into consideration okay. in in the pattern. Okay. So everything when we make a pattern and make a change to the pattern, everything around that change okay. also is manipulated too. Okay. So it's not just it's not just one thing and then there's not a cascade of other events. Okay. Because you ch you shift one thing and it's, it's going to change other things along the way. Okay. So the the last one I did, I noticed it was kind of tight on the elbow. Okay. If I raise the armhole, is that going to slim the arm throughout or no? No. Okay. No. Shouldn't. Okay. Okay, so maybe the elbow right here, I think I would just feel more comfortable if I let it out maybe a, maybe a quarter, yeah. half at the most. Just, I, I just feel a little binding right here. I mean, That's it's just fine. subtle. That's fine. And then... It, and it varies. You know, it's, it's odd. It's odd. You know, some guys who, are, who obviously work out. Mm -hmm. It's obviously not me. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, you know, the sleeve is interesting because... You know, sometimes a guy that obviously works out, you know, he fills up the, he might fill up the, the sleeve itself, mm -hmm. but you know, he's comfortable with that. Okay. Uh, and then there's other guys who, who want a more also draped. Want a more draped. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's you know, sleeve is sleeve has become uh, probably the latest alteration. Yeah. In in today's clothing. Because they want more of the aesthetic over anything. Correct. So you want to, you know, I trim my sleeves because yeah. I like a little bit of a of a tapered sleeve mm -hmm. look. I want it a little bit closer. Okay. Some guys, some guys just, you know, want it draping. Some guys want it, you know, on them, you know. So it's just a that a little comes taste. down to preference. Okay, that's right. Personal taste. Um, now, did you say we would adjust the halfback at all? I mean, obviously, I know I'm not playing basketball or anything with this, yeah. but I just even when I move a little, I can just feel that across my blades. But is that going to be adjusted based off the posture that you were talking about? No, not necessarily here. So we're okay. just talking about, uh, you know, this area here. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to you're going to extend your point to point uh, uh, a half total, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to get some more room. A little more in the blades. Yeah, you'll get some more room in the blades. Again, one of those things that once you move something here, it's going to change something It'll... a little somewhere else. Okay. So I, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd mess with it okay. because of that. Because um, you you'll get a looser fit through here with that. A more comfortable fit. Yeah. Okay. More comfortable fit. That's that's way to put it. So, and the last two points that I'm thinking of maybe like the the half waist right here and the length. Okay. So half waist. I like the shape. I like a shape and I like to be sculpted on the the small of my yes. back. Yes. But since I've got a strong seat. The, usually the hips are going to be it's popping. So I got you. What, what is something we need to adjust there? Well, so if we if we mess with the half waist, mm -hmm. we're only talking about this area right here. Okay. Okay. So just above the pocket line. Correct. Okay. Correct. So I would bring that in, giving you that sculpted shape on on your back. Okay. Would we increase the, the coat seat at all? No. Okay. Well, I would leave the seat alone. No matter. Okay. Seat talks about area. Right here down. down. Okay. Here down. So I would I wouldn't I would leave it alone. You're going to have a little bit of. If you wanted to, if you wanted a snug fit, I'd probably take your seat in a quarter of an inch only. Okay. Just to get rid of some extra. Okay. But I don't think you want. You don't want. I like a little more draped, yes. but still accentuating the shape for yes. the aesthetic purpose. So for 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 what you're wanting, you want this shape, mm -hmm. but you don't want you don't want it. All I don't want all the way down. No, here, you know? no. So that's the only thing I do here is just give you a little bit of uh, give, give you a little bit of shape here in the sides. How much are we taking in the, the waist? I think in the half waist, you're about one inch. One inch total. One inch or, or half off the half waist. Half waist. So two inches two total inches through right here. Okay. And that goes all the way around. 
Okay. It's not just down at the back. Okay. So you'll get a little bit more. You'll get a little bit more of that suppression. The new, you know, okay. X shape. Yeah. Okay. You know. And then lengthwise, um, I usually do. So the coat that I was wearing was 31 and a half. Okay. This, I think I looked in the specs, it was like 30 and 7 eighths, 30 and 3 quarters. Okay. Does this look too short for me? Does it look disproportional? I don't think so. Okay. So you'd leave this alone and you wouldn't adjust the length? Yeah, I don't. I think I'd leave it alone. Okay. Sleeves look great too. Okay. Know, um, it, unless you just wanted a little bit more uh, shirt to show. I might shorten them a quarter. That's maybe. what I'd say. Yeah. But I think overall that the jacket length's got great balance. Okay. It hits you in the hands mm -hmm. uh, very well. And this is shorter than what I've done before, but I wanted to shorten this just a little because okay. I haven't done that on my sport yeah. coats. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So, you know, and it covers your seat, mm -hmm. you know, so on and so forth. The other thing the other thing that you might notice too, because of your direct posture if you're turned to the side. That you see how we're almost level. Mm -hmm. The coat jacket. Yeah. Okay. The other thing that making this posture adjustment do, it'll, it'll rebalance the coat. Okay. Because the, the front of the coat should make be, it clean on the bottom. Yeah. The front on the should be okay. slightly longer than the back. Okay. The, the front. The front. Sorry. Okay. The front should be slightly longer than the back. Yeah, I heard it's like a half inch difference, yeah. maybe. Yeah. And especially if a guy's got a bigger chest, that kind of changes. Correct. Because all okay. I mean, even even me, you know, I've got a little bit of a tummy, so yeah, I take up my jacket moves up. Okay. You know, that so makes I sense. have to make that kind of adjustment as well. Okay. So, yeah, I like that. Okay. So I see we're trying to dance that. Perfect. Cool. This is definitely a lot trimmer than what I'm used to, but yes, that's why I'm talking to the expert. Yeah, compared to the pants you had on, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, so, same, and then come back to the thought that when you when you're fitting a jacket, the shoulders are the most important thing. When you're fitting a pant, the seat. Okay. Because again, you can, while you can manipulate the seat a lot easier than you can the shoulder of your jacket, starting at the seat is really where you go. And then everything gets easier to manipulate. Everything, everything from there. Okay. Okay. So, um, like for instance, you're a little bit loose in the waist here, mm -hmm. and you're a little bit tight in the seat. And then compared to the pant that you've got on, mm -hmm. and I happen to know how you like to wear your pant higher waisted, higher waisted, and things like that. So, first off, I'd say we're probably in a pretty good zone. Mm -hmm. and of course, it'll be out the, the way you like. So, are you talking about? Possibly raising the rise a little bit, or what are you talking about? Correct. Okay. Uh, again, because I know you like, you like wearing your pants a little More higher at the natural waist. That's correct. Yeah. So let's let's. This is a regular rise pant. Let's give you a, a long rise pant. Okay. And then maybe even extend that just a little bit. Okay. So it just comes up a little higher. Correct. Okay. Correct. Because uh, and then um, obviously give you the room that you need in the seat mm -hmm. or close. Uh, I think you don't need more than maybe a half an inch or so. Uh, oh really? Three okay. And then then and then work down from here, give you the, you know, I'd say you could go up to three quarters to maybe an inch. Okay. You know, here, on the thigh? On the thigh, and then just work that straight down to the floor. Now one thing I've noticed in the posture of my knees, like I stand usually with my knees locked and it goes back, and yes. there's usually a lot of breaking around the yes. back of the knees. So do yes. we need to increase that? Like I like a clean, straight drape, but with this, yeah. I wanted to get a slightly trimmer pant than what I've done before. Okay, okay. So how do we find that balance there? Well, there's there's two things. So typically what happens is that a customer's waist, they'll be kind of hips forward. Okay. So, um, meaning every pant's built with a front lower and higher back. To go under the Under the belly. Tummy and over the seat. Right? Okay. So a lot of hips forward guys, their posture of the of the pant is straight, which pushes down on the back of the leg. Okay. Now for you, you you know, you're for you, you know your calves are larger. Yeah, I do have big calves. And then and then like you said, you stand kind of lock knee, mm -hmm. and so that again push, puts more pressure on the back of the pant. Okay. You're not necessarily straight waisted, but what I would do is go ahead and make that posture adjustment. Okay. So that so that this can be cleaned up and get that clean look that you like on the back of your pants. Okay. Pant up higher. Uh, that'll be fine. Okay. If if 
I wouldn't do it if you were going to wear your pants at this. Level. Yeah, at the natural. Because then, then lower then it would look, then it would look odd. Yeah. So we're talking increasing the seat about half. You said maybe three quarters, or you yeah. thinking half? I think like half to three quarters. Okay. Yeah. Um, an inch on the thigh. Mm -hmm. How much yeah. on the knee? Well, do you have a lot of guys nowadays have a uh, bottom measurement that they like to get to? Like mine's yeah. Mine's fifteen. Okay. Uh, and that just means the bottom opening. The bottom, the leg opening. Okay. Yeah. So on my tr trousers, I've been experimenting with like wider, mm -hmm. but I also want to try a, a smaller. Um, I've got one that was sixteen and a half. I felt that was kind of a little too trim for me, so I'm thinking maybe 17. I've got enough 17 and a half. I think the other one I would bring would be 18. Okay. But this one I want it to be probably maybe 17. You know that then we could work up actually. Okay. From from the bottom of the pants to the to the knee, because that's a that's a separate measurement in itself. Okay. So you got to be able to taper the pant properly. Then if you start at 17 and a half at the bottom. Then we can work up. So, is there a correlation between the, the the drop of the measurement of the knee to the leg opening? There, there is. I've heard some people say three, three and a half, but also depending on the type of person. And every, and every brand's different. True, as well. So, okay. Um, every brand is different. Okay. So it's, uh, it's just based on how they see their their pant the shape of the pant. Okay. I mean, overall, I mean, we're. Pretty, I mean, this is way slimmer than I'm used to, but it's still pretty comfortable. Um, yeah. Is there so when I'm when I'm walking, I notice a little, sure. Is there a way to like increase the the stride, or what, what's a good way to kind of adjust that? Or is since we're easing it out, that'll that that compensate all, for yeah, it. That'll all compensate for it. Okay. It's really it's you know when a guy when a guy you know sits down or you know moves like this and yeah. he gets caught, that's typically because the pants is too tight. Okay. Um, and then you know, and on a pant, it's pretty specific areas. Like for instance, you know, it's catching on your calf, mm -hmm. so it's a little trim on your calf. So, and when you move your thigh, it's catching on your thigh. So that means for you, it's a little too trim in those two areas. Okay. Okay. Well, I feel pretty comfortable with that. So we'll make the adjustments off of that. Perfect. Okay. Hell, unconstructed half line. Um, I thought about doing like you know a ticket pocket and stuff like that, but I think sure. I want to do a patch pocket, but with the welted chest. I like it, uh, and that, that would be great on this on this jacket. Yeah, because it makes it casual, but if you dress it up a little bit, it correct, gives it some nice detailing. And our factory does such a great job of pattern matching mm -hmm. that uh, you know because that patch pockets, it's got to be spot on. It's got to be spot on. Yeah. So um, so this is a great jacket to do that with. Okay. So so that would be. Um, so the. Notch. notch, notch lapel. Yes. So that would be Vantage. Okay. This is the model. Okay, model B A N T A G E. Uh huh. Okay. And I like the the wider pick stitching because this is the the edge stitching, right? Correct. Correct. So that's the five six. Oh, that's that's like the one we were wearing, right? Yeah. We yeah there on? you go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. yeah I Please. really like that. Yeah. I, and, uh, and again, if we did edge stitch on the patch pocket. Mm -hmm. It would just kind of, kind of get lost. It would get lost. Yeah. This gives a little bit of personality. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so it's stitch. Definitely want to do functional butterfly. I want to do something different. I think I'm going to do this, the center vent. What do you think? That's fine. It'd be different. I just don't have any of those, so I want to try something different. Um, trousers. You want to take a pocket on your pants? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be good on that one. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'll do a single pleat. Yep. And I'm going to do a D ring. Perfect. I'm wearing suspenders, so I'll do that. So then on the front page, let's turn to the front page. Let's do uh, slash. Okay. And that that pant model that you're talking about is called DAC. D DAC. D A K. D A K. Single pleat. How's it? It's a reverse pleat. Okay. So it'll be facing out. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay, got that. Okay. And then, or are you wanting to? Uh, oh, button, button and lining. Button yeah. and lining. Thought I forgot about accessories. Yeah. Accessories. Yeah. So I'd probably go with the brown. Okay. With that. Yeah. 
lining. Usually I'm making those calls. Red or the blue? Red, blue, or the tote? I didn't even think of the tote. The tote looks really good. There's the red. Yeah. But I mean, and even the the brown button that's dark enough if I wanted to wear like a black loafer or something sure. to really yeah. dress it up. Absolutely. Looking at either between the red or the tote. Yeah. It's again. Back First, to that personal preference yeah. kind of thing. You know, nobody's going to see it unless you throw your jacket out. Of yeah, it. true. But, uh, but you know, it's there, and it's just a, it's a little personal touch. I think I'll do the tote. I like yeah, that a lot. I think that's a really nice contrast. Okay. All right. Well, we've we pretty much designed it. I'm I'm looking forward to this. Absolutely. And so the turnaround time is like four to five weeks. Yeah, five weeks generally. Okay. Okay. Closer to five weeks. Cool. I'm Excellent. looking forward to it. Hey, thank you so Austin. much for your help. Yeah. I appreciate it.